ATTORNEY GENERAL TAKES ON WALL STREET AND WINS. THE AG ANNOUNCING THE SETTLEMENT OF A LAWSUIT AGAINST STANDARD AND POORS FOR ITS CREDIT RATING PRACTICES. THE SUIT ALLEGES THAT S&P CONTRIBUTED TO THE 2008 FINANCIAL CRISIS. WMTW NEWS 8'S COURTNEY STURGEON JOINS US NOW LIVE IN THE STUDIO. SO, COURTNEY, HOW MUCH MONEY WILL MAINE GET? Tracy, Maine is one of 19 states that's benefited from a billion dollar settlement with Standard and Poor's. The settlement gives $21.5 million to Maine and the largest one time settlement in state history. Attorney General Janet Mills, along with other states, the District of Columbia, and the Department of Justice filed suit two years ago, claiming SP allowed its ratings to be influenced by investment bank clients. Mills says the deceptive ratings ultimately led to low quality mortgages and the housing bubble. And economic downfall. It contributed to the loss of jobs here in Maine and the loss of houses and the foreclosures, the foreclosure crisis that occurred here in Maine and elsewhere. The, the remnants of which we are still dealing with, the after effects of which we are still dealing with all across this state. In a statement, Standard & Poor's says, quote, the company and S&P rating take compliance with regulatory obligations very seriously and continue to make investments in people and technology to strengthen controls and risk management throughout the organization. Attorney General Mills says the money will go towards consumer prot protection, rather, and education efforts. Live in the studio, Courtney Sturgeon, WMTW News 8.